The book shown here is a unique publication that was created in 1948 to mark the opening of the Hoover factory at Pentrebach Merthyr Tydfil. The foreword contains details about why the book was created and what is contained within. On October the 12th, 1948, Hoover Limited at Pentrebach Merthyr Tydfil Glamorganshire was officially opened for the large-scale manufacture of Hoover electric washing machines. These pages tell the story of that event. In doing so, inevitably they suggest also the great measure of hard work and hard planning that preceded it and the ambitions that will be realised because of it. Hoover made a name for themselves creating vacuum cleaners, but with their factory in Pendrebach, they were now moving into the manufacture and sale of washing machines. The Mark I was produced in Merthyr and many decades after Merthyr would exclusively produce washing machines for the worldwide market. Merthyr was recognised officially as a depressed area during the 1940s due to the coal, steel and iron industry failing to employ in the same way as it did in previous decades. The opening pages of the book show the factory site in Pentrebach before any construction work began. An 11 acre site had to be levelled and cleared and in all three quarters of a million tonnes worth of coal dust, slag and general waste was removed from the site before building commenced. That work began in September 1946 and just a few months prior the first turf was cut in June of 1946. The creation of the factory would come at a rapid pace and by October 1948 the company had in fact already began manufacturing washing machines and employing over 500 people in Merthyr. As you flip past the first opening pages of the book, you are met quickly by one of the many original documents that have been expertly worked into the layout of the book. The first document is a train seating plan that details the over 300 people who made their way from all over the world to Paddington Station, then to a custom-built train station at Pendrebach on the Hoover factory site. Original menus from the train journey for breakfast and dinner can also be found in the book, as well as invitation cards for local guests, as well as guests coming from Paddington. There's also a copy of the Hoover newspaper in the book, which details the opening in a shorter form. Another page contains a ticket stub from the Paddington to Pendrebach train and a programme for the day. The programme details many things like the departure and arrival times of the train, the opening ceremony times, but also time for a tour of an exhibition that was created on the site of the Hoover factory. After the official opening, the exhibition was open to the general public free of charge, and over 10,000 people in Merthyr visited the exhibition in the first few days to find out more about the Hoover factory and what the factory would be manufacturing. A map of the site was created and printed into the programme as well, detailing where all the various parts of the site were. The honour of opening the factory fell to a local man, Mr Daniel Bowen of 8 Darrenview Pen Yard. He was a 36-year-old miner at the time with two daughters, and as the programme explains, as a miner he and his family endured the calamitous fortunes of industrial murder. Then, contracting silicosis during his work in the pits, he lost his livelihood. Now, as a registered disabled man, he is working in the new factory of Hoover. Fittingly, it is he who will declare the factory open, because both in the act and by his presence, he will epitomise the fresh opportunities and prosperities new industry is bringing to the people of his home country. At the time of opening, 7% of Hoover's entire workforce were registered disabled and 20% were women. It was a new age of employment for many people in Merthyr Tydfil. In this photo of Daniel Bowen, you can see he is wearing a customised name badge. And as we flip through the book further, one of the original name badges is contained within. And on the same page, another publication inserted into the book that tells the story of why Hoover's decided to choose Merthyr as the place for their new washing machine factory. This publication states that between 1924 and 1939, many parts of Merthyr found themselves with 80% unemployed. 
So in choosing Merthyr Tydfil for their new venture, Hoover said they derived considerable satisfaction from the knowledge that they would be helping build up the prosperity of a district far too greatly neglected in the years before the war. Hoover was not alone in this venture to open a new factory and bring new job opportunities to Merthyr. Several factories had opened before it and would after. In this very publication, in fact, Hoover creates a new map of industrial Merthyr showing all the factory developments and it being a new part of these already well-established factories. We are then treated to a photographic tour showing all the different parts of the Hoover factory. In its first few years of being open, 94% of all of the washing machines manufactured at Merthyr were sent abroad to every single country around the world. By the late 1950s, three out of every four washing machines exported from Britain was manufactured in Merthyr Tydfil. This book is a unique and expertly crafted account of this monumental period in Merthyr's history. There is much more to Hoover's history than is contained in this book and it would affect the lives of people in Merthyr Tydfil over many decades. But the book here ends with a rather helpful section on how best to use Hoover washing machine products and even the correct posture when ironing.